suppose I suppose that uh, in spite of our many and varied uh, uh, insights, no, uh, we are able really to go to the basic understanding of spirituality, which is our relationship with God through the Spirit. They are spirituality, man, no? and although there will be plenty of different kinds of spirituality, because we have different ways of relating with God, but the important thing is that this relationship uh, centers in the Spirit. And it is the Spirit working in us that we call uh, the spirituality. Okay, um, before I move, uh, I just have a kind of a check on uh, what the, the kind of uh, group that we have. Of course, there are, there are sisters that cannot be uh, uh, overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, although it's not as colorful as before, <laughs> and I, I know that there are free stuff because we really consider the faith by the pastor of Rachel and then the, the lady, okay? Now, but then let, let me just uh, see uh, the, the, the geographical, uh, what do you call this, uh, gamut of our, of our group. From the north, from the north, but uh, from, uh, from, uh, she talks about the promo kidnap that I work in once a week. Ah, okay, but the father. The what? Father's store. No? From the brothers. Seminary and spouse. A diocese of Noah. Okay. You're very young for this course. Ang course ng to, kailangan ng bayisin to may experience na talaga sa pagtatakbo ng katikipigal na doon. But anyway, you're welcome. North, so that's at the that's the top post. Then we go down to uh, region. That's region. Region one. Region one. Oh, that was region two. Sa kagaya na yan. Kagaya ko na. So region three. Yan. Sa uh, sa po kayo. Sa Bernardo Pampanga. Okay. Uh, and then sino pa? So San Fernando. Wala na kayo lang. San Fernando. Sino? Okay, then Pampang, it's at San Fernando Pampang. Tapos Tarlac. Tarlac. Wala. Tarlac. Sino pa? Po. Ah, Bataan. Bataan. Pero hindi Bataan ko ba? Alam mo Laguna ka. Sa sila kikita. San Bales. Okay, so Kabana Tuan. Ah, Kabana Tuan. Ah, Father of Sikhi. Father of Father of Sikhi. 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 Father Sa NCR tayo, NCR na? Ah, okay. From Pasig, di ba? Then sa Pasig? Lima. Lima. From PCC. Ay, iba PCC. Sa isa pa, PCC. Pasig. So, tapos, sino pa? Sa NCR? Antipolo po. Antipolo. Tatlo. Okay. No, Balinches. Balinches. Assistant test pala. Sa father ba? Father Alice. Bako kayo sa Katikatikal Ministry? Kasi dati sa WHS. Si Aldrin. Aldrin, no? Si Aldrin. Ah, so no, hindi natin si Aldrin na ngayon. Team Ministry. Ah, Team Ministry. Okay. No, Balinches. Cubao? Wala. Cubao. Pero, ano? Sa education na... Anong pa? Sa... I'm connected with that Cubao. Both oh, that's it. Ah, okay. Sino sa kubo sa 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 Okay, tapos then we go down to Southern Luzon. Southern Luzon. San Pablo. Okay. As Lipa. Lipa. Queso. Queso. Lucena. Tapos, we go to Bicol Region. From? From? Okay. 
are represented. Okay, so it's a, so the, the, our discussion day and, and our sharing would really be uh, enriching. As I have said, uh, this course really is for those who have already uh, uh, experience in managing and uh, uh, forming that. Okay. So eventually, uh, so that uh, there's, this could be a renewal. But at the same time, for those who have not, who have not yet had experience, this will be a kind of a and I just hope that uh, you really do, you really enter into the ministry of Catholicism. Okay, so uh, as I've said, uh, uh, spirituality basically is uh, our relationship with God uh, through the Holy Spirit. And siguro, uh, let's let, let us hear from one or two, I know, uh, you know, apart from this, you know, from departing from this uh, idea, what else have you discussed? What else, what insight have you gotten from your uh, discussion regarding spirituality? Anyone? Volunteer? One or two?
sa mga kalilang mga landmarks sa Limbawa, their socialized tradition in St. Teresa's College, Quezon City. Ayun, ay, ay, isang hindi ko madatang na palilimutan. Pag nag-i-interview ako ng mga kakasal sa parish, at na saan si Kuela, saan si Kuela, sa St. Teresa's, oh, nung nag-aaral ka ba doon, pinag, 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 pinagsuot kayo, pinag, pinag, pinagsusuot kayo ng poseras, ng sinsay, ng ikaw, <laughs> hindi po, bawal talaga kasi si Teresa's. But yun, ay, isang, isang tatali, tatali sa, sa akin, when the, when the sister shared with me, is the now this this is enrollment time in Latin. Huh? At the end of the school year, they ask uh, parents to uh, give back the books that their their daughters uh, used for the past school year. Then they select the good ones and then they uh, put them one to one side. And then during the this enrollment, when they when the students are supposed to buy books, sa mga eskwelahan ngayon na kahanan yun, na kaset na yun, and that cost three thousand pesos. No, they they invite the, the different publishers that they have chosen as the publisher of the books of the students. Yun sila para papakita sa parents na wala kami dito pa po. Boys still in the course. And then those uh, those who, who would like to have cheaper books uh, because they could not afford it, they could have lower price. Pupunta sila dun sa store naman ng used books which they gather from the students of the past. So that's, the, that's how they, they do the socialized uh, uh, way of, uh, not only of paying the tuition, but also of being a tuition. In the attitude of that father, students who are, who belong to, who avail socialized tuition, uh, do not know who they are. Even the teachers do not know who they are. So they are just part of the whole community without knowing them that you are, you are availing the socialized program so you are. <laughs> so to avoid, to, ano din, to avoid biases, that's what's good about it. Okay. Now, so it's, I emphasize that because uh, this this is uh, this uh, shared because spirituality is not something on the air. Spirituality is same in concrete. Authentic spiritual, the work of the spirit is really same in actual uh, uh, experience. Lang. Okay? Sige. One more. Dito naman sa kabila. Sina. Pwede ba kayo nakaturong ganyan? <laughs> Sige. Meron pa dito naman. Dito naman dito ako. Tapos na dito eh. Sister Nora. Marunig ko yung boses mo ulit. Mutyanong Pasig. At saka, ano, ano ka ba? Prinsesa ng MCST. Sige. <laughs> Panginoon ko. <laughs> yung shinare mo lang kang hina o shinare niya. Sige. Hindi nga po ako nakapag-share. Kasi inubos ni Father yung oras. <laughs> Ngayon ka na mag-share. Ngayon share mo na lang yung sa'yo ni Father. Tingnan po ako na rin doon. Ah, ang sharing po niya ay his way of life. Kasi as diocesan priest daw, nagtatanong ang marami, ano bang spirituality ng diocesan priest? Kasi pag, pag, pag SJ daw, yung kay, kay St. Ignatius, yung sa, sa prayer nila, yung 30-day retreat, yung mga Ignatian, Pagka, ano daw, pag, basta yung sa iba't ibang pare, sa religious priest na sabi ang, ano, pero sila as diocesan, for him, his spirituality, yung kanyang way of life, na dapat, at pinipilit niyang gawin, yung laging masaya, simple, na masaya siya sa labas, pero kung pagdating naman sa household niya, makikita ang spirituality niya, kung masaya din yung kanyang mga convent boys, yung kanyang cook, yung mga et etc. Sige, galing mo talaga mag-chismis, ha? <laughs> okay. No, I can joke with Sister Laura kasi tagalan na yung magkasama niya sa Catechetical Ministry. Anyway, so, uh, so again, you notice uh, you, the, the, the sharing is uh, spirituality expressed in how we live, how we relate with one another, with others, like that. Si Father, nagahanap ka ng spiritual diocesan. Ang spiritual na salisyans, diocesan eh. Because St. John Bosco was first 
Salesian priest, uh, Prada Yohesan priest. He wanted to be a Franciscan, but then his uh, spiritual director said, if you want to do what God wants you to do for young people, you cannot be a religious. A religious, you're tied up with the community, you're tied up with the congregation, with the order. So you stay the Yosesan. So he became a Yosesan priest of the Archdiocese of Turin. And then gradually, gradually, the Lord led him to do what he was supposed to do for the young. And he was more free in that, in, in that sense. That's why the spiritual thing niya, na na namana na namin is basically the one of the uh, kaya kaunti kaunting dasal namin <laughs> very uh, I can say that's the because the life of the Yosef priest is a life of being a uh, busy activity you cannot uh, hindi ka pwede magkaroon ng structure dyan eh di ba yun ang buhay ng the Yosef priest ang magkakaroon ng structure depende ka na sa sarili mo kaya very ayun uh, yung basic I have one half, half an hour ang Jesuits may one hour meditation kami half an hour lang <laughs> Ganun, diba? Daily mass, yan. all those are basic lang yan. But tama si Father, ang, uh, ang ano is that we are happy in doing this and, uh, and we are happy in our life. Yun. Yun. Kasi it is the, the, the sign of our authentic spirituality is joy because the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Alright, now I just like to uh, bring in one idea of spirituality that is oftentimes uh, forgotten or maybe overlooked or maybe taken for granted. No? And that is spirituality is not about what we do for God. Say when we talk about uh, spirituality, ano dadasal kami, gumagawa kami ng apostolate, etc. Yung gagawin natin sa Panginoon. Do, uh, excuse me, don't worry about the, the, the slides. Uh, uh, you'll be given the, 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 the PowerPoint. Nandito na sa USB. Kaya huwag na kayong kukuha. Just, mas maganda kung if you could uh, just uh, uh, follow the discussion and, and react. No? So it's an inter, interactive sign. Ito, no? So spirituality, uh, it primarily is not about what we do for God. And even among our lay people, this is what we miss. Take for instance the sacraments. The sacraments are source of our spirituality because without the spirit, there are no, there is, there are no sacraments. So the sacraments are clear. Uh, occasion where the spirit is at work. The sacraments are occasions for us to get closer to God. But how do we look at the sacraments? Even the lay people, the sacraments are our actions for God. Mali. The sacraments are primarily actions of God for us. Kaya nga instituted by Christ. Eh. But when we look at the sacraments, how, we are, how they are celebrated, oftentimes it's centered around the celebrant or those who are celebrating. Tignan nyo ang binyag. Ano ang inaatubag sa binyag? Hindi naman yung mismong pagbubuhos ng tubig eh. Nat magdandun ang paging anak ng Diyos, yung batang binibinyagan. Ang inaatubag, handaan. Sosyalan. Di ba? When you ask, Ba, wa, bakit gano'n ang ano? Kasi ang pag-intindi, ang pinyag ay celebration namin para sa Diyos. Hindi. Ang pinyag ay celebration ng Diyos para sa bata. Same way, same way also with, for example, ngayon, ang, ang ano, infamous, no? or the famous kasalan. Diba? Ngayon, ang mahal-mahal ng kasal. Diba? Ma mahal-mahal ng kasal. Pagtatanong mo sa mga tao, sa mga kinakasal, bakit kanyan kayo gumastos? Maabot ng pag nag interview ako sa kasal sa parish, magkano budget? Naranap ko sa lang, magkano budget? And then, then all guys, then all guys, kasi alam po, pag ang, ang simbahan, hindi aircon, 200,000 ang ano, starting price. Sa Manila, <laughs> was uh, 300,000 pag aircon, maabot ng 500. Isang 
million pa, no? Ganyan. Tapos, then sa ko, bakit gagastos kayo ng, why, why, why spend so much? And then, at the end of the night, or you wake up the following morning, you realize, wow, a million is done, is gone. Just like that. Sagot na mga kakasal, sagot na mga couple, because it's our day. Minsan lang kami kasal. Kaya kailangan maganda. Kaya kailangan na. And of course, they're always inspired by the marriage of the celebrities. Diba? Kaya ngayon, they are all looking for the best videographer in town. Para pagkakuha, pag na, habang kinukuha, na edit na, and then and you know, at the end, bago matapos ang reception, you have already your uh, DVD or CD. Kaya pamahalan. No? Pamahalan. Kasi kaya 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 ano doon, dahil gano'n ang pano lang. So, their wedding day is their day. Kaya nga, it's, it's like a, film, a, a movie starring the bride and the groom. Sabi ko sa kanila, that is your day in the restaurant. Pero pag sa simbahan ka kinakasal, hindi mo araw yan. Hindi nyo araw yan. Araw ng Panginoon na ginawa para sa inyo. Let us rejoice and be glad. Kaya pag ako nagmimisa ng kasal sa, sa parokya, pag ako, ako nakantawa nun, sasabihin ko sa choir, responsor ng alasama. Yung akin, yung super responsor ng alasama. Nung pinapakanta ko sa Luista, ito ang araw na ginawa ng Panginoon. Sa parto. Because this is sacraments. The seven sacraments are really celebrations of God for us. It is God doing something for us. And spirituality is basically God doing something, uh, God doing something for us. So spirituality then is about how God relates with us, how His Spirit works in us, how God sees in us the face and the life of the Son, Jesus. Kaya nga magandang, magand, magandang balikan yung sa baptismal celebration, di ba? Yung pagtatak ng krus sa noon ang binibinyagan. That means that at that moment, the Lord God looks at the face of that child or of that individual to be baptized, sees in that person the very face of His Son. And that begins His spiritual life, life with God. And so, sa spirituality, at sa lahat ng bagay at buong buhay, ang Diyos ang bida, hindi tayo. That is, I think this, this is a very fundamental concept in the, uh, what they call this in spirituality. Okay? So, therefore, ang, ang, ang ano dito is that when we talk of spirituality, God is at the center. There is a psychologist uh, who mentioned this. Sa talagang sa kumpaka pinag-aralan nilang journey of faith, no, of many Christians. The first 50 years, if we could uh, if we look at the first 50 years of Christian life, spirituality is usually centered on what we want to do for God. When we reach the second part, naka golden na tayo. It is then most of the time God inspires us and knocks at our head. You've been doing things for me for the first 50 years. Now the second part, let me do what I want you to do for me. Spirituality now reverses that. It consists now of doing what God wants us to do for Him. Not no longer what we want to do for God. Sabi naman sa ecologies, it is a natural, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, trend. Bakit? Kasi just as in human life, the first part of human life, we built our ego. No? The self. Pinalalakas yan eh. And then, pag malakas na self, then, then we, can, we, can, we can open the self to others na 
kahit ano mangyari, buo pa rin yung self na yan. So in spirituality, well, the first part is really to build that self in relation with God. Pag buo na yan, then that, that, that such that we do many we do things for God such that the trust in God is is made strong, then punta na tayo dun sa the real umaga, goal of spirituality. Doing what God wants us to do for Him. Which is basically Christ's spirituality. Not my will, but your will be done. Okay? So that's why, sabi ni St. Francis of Sales, at the heart of, he, of one's spirituality is that union with God, which is lived by faith, hope, charity, and spirit of genuine piety. Okay? But it is God that dictates no, that, that the way. So union with God, therefore, means living one's life in God and in His presence. Okay, this is simple. Ano lang siya. Okay? And uh, in uh, what you call this, uh, St. Francis of Sales, I'm noted for the lay spirituality kasi siya yung nagsabing, holiness is possible for everyone. Have you read that book, yung kanyang classical book, di ba? Introduction to Devout Life. So siya yung santo na nagsabi, na nagsura talaga na holiness is not only for those in the convent, in the monasteries, but it's for everyone. Which Vatican II pick it up and made it now uh, what they call uh, one of its most popular uh, uh, teachings, no? That we are all called to holiness. And uh, being called to holiness is simply living our life with God through the Spirit, which is living our spirituality. And that holiness, therefore, ito yung kaya, ito pa, isa kanyang, kanyang, ano, kanyang uh, uh, new uh, way of uh, describing spirituality, depends greatly on a person's cooperation with grace. Okay? So it's again, uh, the, emphasizing again here the importance of grace, the importance of the, 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 the role, the presence of God in our life. Thus, holiness is doing is achieved by doing the work God gives us in life and doing it with a spirit of detachment so that God becomes the center of our work. Yan ang yan ang yan ang laging inaapalan sa atin ng spirituality, no? That the way we live no? and the way we do the way we carry out our apostolate, no? it's the, if it is authentic spirituality, hindi tayo ang bida, hindi tayo nasa sentro, but it is God. I am just reviewing some, some points. That, uh, no, that, uh, no. Okay. Therefore, holiness is made difficult. Hmm? Sino ba naman ang hindi mahihirapang sumunod kay Kristo hmm? sa, hanggang sa krus? No? But not impossible. That's one of the consequences of the teachings of, of uh, uh, Francis of Sales. Holiness, yeah, is made difficult, but it is not impossible. And holiness does not exclude joy, cheerfulness. It requires not penitence, but commitment, coming from a life of grace in carrying out of one's duties. Okay? As, uh, as shared by Father, uh, in the sa, sa tanda, as a diocesan priest. No? Yung ano, ang importante yung yung ating pakikitungo sa Diyos ay uh, napapakita sa uh, kasiyahan sa buhay. Sa pakikitungo din natin sa kapwa. And of, uh, because in the, in our uh, the uh, tradition of spirituality, is our spiritual, there has been a period where penance has been no? Physical penance has been emphasized, no? But after, uh, but, 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 but after Vatican II, it's not, it's not doing away with penance, but looking at penance, penitence in a different perspective, which is that day-to-day -day commitment, no? That, of course, that does not come from our own strength, but from the life of grace. That day-to-day -day carrying out our duties, no? Our duties, yeah. So, with, uh, with this uh, discussion, we co comes to mind the figure of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. So, you know, I was as I mentioning to you that yeah, 
uh, when uh, when we when we do our best or we to to do what God wants us to do for Him, we cannot but end uh, looking at Jesus and trying to examine whether how much we reflect Jesus in us, particularly that uh, the figure of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Because uh, the source of strength of all the saints to walk and advance the path of holiness is the charity or love of the Good Shepherd. Especially we in the, what you call this, in the field, in the pastoral ministry, in catechesis, in catechesis you know, that uh, our, uh, the, the, our involvement you know, and our, uh, our uh, uh, Doing the, our our work, no, should really be driven by this love of the good shepherd. What we call, what we call, pastoral charity, okay, which is a mystery and grace, and uh, oh, sorry, where God's first move to allow us to take part in His divine life, and where and. Thus, making us experience the presence of the Spirit, the charity that's given to us on our in our baptism. Kaya nga yung at yung spirituality is is nothing else but the deepening day by day of that faith, hope, and love that has been implanted to us on the day of our baptism. And this uh, pastoral charity could be expressed in the proclamation of the gospel, education of the faith, the formation of Christian community, bringing the yeast of the gospel to the situation. So these are just um, typical forms of expressing this pastoral charity, which is at the heart of every spirituality. Be it be a spirituality of a certain founder, be it a, a spirituality of a certain community, you know? But uh, whatever, however that spirituality is, it is grounded on the pastoral charity, the charity of the Good Shepherd. And it's expressed in different uh, uh, forms. Okay, so any question or any, any reaction, any insight on just a few thoughts uh, on spirituality? Try to, what you call this, uh, relate what we have presented to what we have shared and see. Mayroong bang natagdag o mayroong bang kaibahan that you can also bring out to the group so that we may be enriched. Father, yes? Father, you mentioned that um, perhaps the beginning of our apostolate it comes from the, the inspiration and the drive to, to serve God. It, isn't it that, the, well, perhaps part of that also is that we believe that the, the Holy Spirit gives us gifts, and diff, uh, we are given different gifts, and that is part of the spirituality that we are called to. Yeah, so yun, yun nga yung, yung doing something for God comes from the, the gifts that we receive, and that uh, parang, uh, we use these gifts for God. Kaya nga sabi, kaya nga ang sabi ng mga psychologists, that is a, that is a, a normal trend. So, huwag kayo, huwag kayo matakot. Like, ano, ang, ang sinasabi ko lang is, let us also be aware that that is not the end. That, kumbaga, sa buhay natin, darating dapat sa punto tayo na, Lord, hindi na itong gusto kong gawin para sa'yo. Ano talaga ang gusto mong gawin ko para sa'yo? Lalo lang na sa mga, pag ako na, nagkaka-crisis na tayo, papadala ka ng obispo sa isang isla na ikaw lang mag-isa. O sa ito ba talaga, Lord? Ba? Mag -ma yung mga puntong ganon, uh, nakakayanan natin tanggapin ng mga sitwasyon na ganyan kapag malakas na ang ating tiwala. No? Yung talaga matiba ang tiwala sa Panginoon at yung tiwala yan, yung matiba ang tiwala yan, ay nangkaling din sa karanasan natin na tayo ay nakagawa ng kabutihan para sa Kanya. Ang mahirap lang ay kapag dito na tayo na natili hanggang doon lang sa gawa. Kasi it may end up in other uh, kumbaga, uh, sabihin, mis misleading uh, uh, form of spirituality. 
Sister, you have something to say? Yeah. I, I just only, you know, Father, the other day we were uh, when uh, Monsignor Jerry was speaking about the ecclesiology, he said we have to go back to the sources. Then yesterday we were talking about the sacred scripture, and then we have to connect it with Jesus. And now uh, going back to uh, the sources, to the church, so what we get from the sacred scriptures, our personal encounter with Jesus, and then we realize it in the church, for the church, with the church, for this. So that's what I understand today's. Yeah. Okay. We cannot separate. We cannot separate, yes. Other comments that you'd like to raise? Okay. Uh, yes, Paul. It was mentioned that it is the more we follow Jesus, the more we, we become perfect. No? Uh, I'm just wondering, why do you have to go back to the other ay nagiging mas sulit na ano. <laughs> sorry, lalo na po ang um, maraming, sorry mga pari, lalo na po sa mga pari. Ano, ano po, saan po nangyayari? Sorry po, saan po nangyayari yung, uh, ano po nangyayari? Kasi, the more godly we are, the more human we are, di po ba? So, palalit lang palalit yung spirituality, lalo ka nagiging bala, lalo ka nagiging mabait. Pero hindi naman sinasabing mawawala yung tukso at saka ano. <laughs> Ganun lang. So, Kahit po ang mga church workers yeah. din. So, kaya... Yeah. Ako, I, I, I look at it from yun. Kapag umiikot lang tayo doon sa, sa pananiwala na ang ginagawa ko ito para sa Diyos eh. Ako gumagawa para sa Diyos. So then, alatap uh, dito, uh, ang ano natin is kailangan magaling, kailangan maganda, kailangan maayos, yun, uh, tawag ito, uh, sabi ng perfectionist. Pero actually, uh, pag tinignan mo ang Panginoon, yung perfection sa Kanya, hindi naman yung talagang maayos na maayos. Ang Kanya is, yung integrated, I will, later on, I will explain yun, yung integration eh, yung kabuuan. At sa kabuuan ng plan ng Diyos para sa atin, tandaan natin, para yung obra ng maestro eh, it is always, it's light and darkness. No, walang, walang obra maestro na panayliwanag. Walang uh, maestro na walang dilim. No, uh, ang isang obra maestro ay is a mixture of balance of light and darkness. Parang kikirabacho. Uh, no, diba? Yan. So yun. Kaya, at nagagawa yan, kapag nang nangyayari yan, kapag tayo, maatras na lang. At sinabi, sige na nga Lord, ikaw nang bahala magpinta. Uh, yung, gag yung, gusto, yung gagawin ko, hindi na yung gusto ko para pintahan yung buhay ko, kundi ikaw na yun. So, take over. Yan. Yun, that will be done. Kaya nga, sinab tama, as we move and day by day, and we, and we follow Jesus, we cannot end there with Jesus at the Garden of Gethsemane and Jesus on the cross. Jesus on the cross did not do what he want do what they want. Let me just uh, share with you this story that was more break than I because it just came to my mind with this idea. There was this, uh, I mean, my my student who is now a priest in Mongolia. In fact, he is now suffering. Uh, he has a, we heard a month ago that he had a heart attack and so he is half paralyzed in uh, Mongolia. He's now in Mongolia. And um, but when he was a brother, he was still seminarian. I brought the third group to the Carmel in Gilmore. Kasi sa buhay ko, mala, uh, may malaking party ang mga Carmelites. Kasi they really were praying for, I've been praying for me, I'm praying for me for, for my vocation ba. So, nung, for me, tara po, sa, sa, ang uh, bring of shit, during Christmas vacation, they're allowed to go home. So sabi ko sa kanila, oh, sige, uh, mag, uh, gusto niyong maka, makakilala ng mga mong ang magdadasal para sa inyo. Sige, dali ko kayo sa uh, Carmel sa Gilmore. And then, so we went there uh, um, days after Christmas, and at that time there was Sister Teresa Constantino, uh, who entered Carmel at age 50. Uh, after left all her career, um uh, professor ng U ng ng UP, DBB, ADB, ADB, tapto parang executive, But when her mother died, ano na siya? 
she she pursued her permanent vocation. So she entered at age 50. No, eh? So no, nas, nasa, nasa visiting room na kami, nandun siya. Pinaliwanag ko sa mga seminarista, o oh, itong monghang ito, ganito, 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 ganito. But now she is now in the uh, monastery. Okay. So nung nagbukas ng kurtina, ito na si Sister Teresa. And si Sister Teresa, madalag talaga yan. Kasi ang dami niyang sasabihin, dami niyang mga ano, no? Sige siya, share, share, ganyan. And then, nung tapos na, magkwentuhan mag na, itong si, si, itong seminarista ito, na pari na, sabi niya, Sister, sabi ni Father, kay itong buhay mo, ganyan, 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 ganyan. Tapos, iniwanan mo lahat, at nagpunta ka rito sa, kumasok ka sa loob ng monasteryo. You entered the monastery, and, uh, and now you're here? How come? Now you can do anything anymore. Naiiniwan mo lahat yung mga ganda mong ginawa. Ngayon, wala ka nang magawa. You're doing nothing. Parang, you're doing nothing. Ba't ganun? Di. Si, si Sister Teresa, tumiyong ko ng konti. Sabi ko, sa loob-loob ko itong seminarista. Tak-taklesa talaga. Parang nga, wala nga, wala nga, katak-tak na ano. Anyway, si Sister took the question well, um, nicely. Sabi niya, Brother, have you looked at the cross? E pilosopo. Sabi niya, sige man, siyempre man, sister, araw-araw, kita ko yung cross, araw-araw, may misa kami. <laughs> so, sabi niya, sabi ni sister, ano nakita mo sa cross? Sabi niya, brother, si Jesus, anong ginagawa ni Jesus sa cross? Sabi niya, brother, wala. He can't do anything. Nakapako eh. Ganun ka si pilosopo eh. Ganun. Sabi ni sister Teresa, precisely, brother, that is what we are doing here in Carmel. We're imitating Jesus on the cross, doing nothing. But remember, Jesus in doing nothing on the cross saved the whole world. In the the first, the case is resting. Let's have our break. <laughs> <laughs>